Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. We are on block number 10 of our 2023 Sew With Me series. If you're new to this series, we are on our 10th block in our monthly sew along series here on YouTube. The patterns are completely free. You can find all of that information below this video or on my website. I'll put that information on the screen right here. Today we're going to be taking a look at block number 10, but if you missed out on it, make sure to head back to block number one video. It has all the information for this entire sew along, release dates, sizes, fabric, um, all of that kind of information is back in that video. So make sure to go check that out. Out. But for now, let's take a look at block number 10. So in today's block, we're going to be making this cute little spinning star unit with these four patches in the corners. This block is actually really easy to put together. I think it has a lot of motion to it though. I love it and I think it would be really cool to see an entire quilt out of this block. This of course is my six and a half inch version using fig tree Christmas stitched fabrics. And then here's our 12 and a half inch version that we are going to be making in today's video. I do have some tips, of course, on how to assemble this block. We are going to be spinning our seams here on these corners, which are gonna make for really nice flat seams. If you haven't ever spun your seams before, or this is your first video here, it's a really great way to distribute some of the bulk in seams where you've got a lot of points coming together, and it just makes your blocks nice and flat and accurate. So let's go ahead and dive right into today's tutorial. So here is block number 10. It's this really cute little, almost like spinning star with a little bit of an Irish chain vibe in the corners. Now we've already done this portion in a previous block. We did that in block number six and here's what that block ended up looking like. So I just wanted to point out how you can take something with similar features like this and then just by changing one of the elements in it, it looks like a completely different block. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Of course, you're gonna need three different sizes of background fabrics. You're gonna need three different print fabrics. All the sizes are gonna be in the PDF pattern. This is a free pattern. You can download it below the video. You can also visit my website at confessionsofahomeschooler.com and just search 2023 Sew With Me and find all of the released blocks there. So I'm gonna set my pattern aside. I'm gonna set my fabric aside and we're going to go ahead and get started. So our first step for this block is to make some four patch units. And so we're gonna grab our A and our D squares and we're just going to make four patch units. Now I'm gonna show you how to put them, them together here. I'm also gonna show you how to spin your seams today, which we have done in a couple other videos, but in case you missed it, we're basically gonna be sewing four units that look just like this. So I'm just gonna take all these over to my machine and sew them all together because the top unit and the bottom unit are essentially the same. They're just flipped around. See, so I'm just gonna sew them all together at once and then we'll come back here, press them, sew the top and bottom together. And then I'll show you how to spin our seams and our corner units will be done. When I get to my machine, I like to set myself up for success over here and just so that I can be much more efficient and quicker. And it really just takes a second to line all these pieces up and get them ready to go. And then once I start my sewing machine, I can just sew, sew, sew really fast. So here they all are, they're just chain pieced together. And to make my life easier, I'm actually going to just press these all at once because they're all gonna be pressed the same way. We're gonna press towards our dark fabric and I'm just gonna grab them and just run down the edge. Now I'm just going to trim them all apart really quickly. All right, now we can move on. Now we're just gonna take one at the bottom piece and just flip it. So now we have opposite colors. We're gonna place these right sides together, nest this center seam, and that's what that looks like. You've got one seam going to the left, top seam going to the right, and they just snap together. You can put a little pin there if you want. We're gonna sew down this edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm just gonna grab all these and do them all at the same time. Here they are. We just need to 
split them apart and then we can press them. But before we do that, we're going to spin our seams. And to spin your seams, you want all your seams going in one direction. So either counterclockwise or clockwise, it doesn't matter. I did that backward, <laughs> clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. So since these ones are already going this way, that's gonna be clockwise. So I'm just going to, with my finger, go across, down, hold it down, <laughs> down, across, and up. And when we press up, this center seam is gonna come apart. And sometimes it comes apart. Sometimes you have to grab your little seam ripper and just rip a couple of stitches right there. And I'll show you that up close in just a second, so don't panic. I've also done this on other blocks. If you've watched, I'm just picking out the two little stitches in there that are holding that seam together. And now we have a mini four patch right here in the center and what we have effectively done is just distributed all of this bulk that would have been pressed to one side all the way around all four pieces making a nice flat seam in the center. So here's one. We're going to do that again with our next one and I'll do a close up so you can see what we're doing. So here's our piece. We are going to unfold it and because I must have sewed this one the other way our seams are going counterclockwise. Totally fine, it's not gonna affect this block at all. So we just want to follow that though. So we're going to the left, then down, then to the right, then up. And again, this one is just pulling right apart. I didn't even need to get my seam ripper, but you can see there's just these little strings in there that are holding it together. And you can just press that and voila, you've got a nice spun little seam right there in the middle of your block and a nice distributed weight and look at those points, super nice, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of these really quick. I'm just gonna open it up. This one is going counterclockwise, so down, across, and up. And look at those seams just popping. Didn't even have to pick any stitches. Here's my last one. This one looks like there's one little thread hanging on in there. So I'm just gonna pick it and you're not destroying anything when you pick those stitches right there because you're not picking past this stitch line. So those stitches are still nice and secure. Now all we need to do is press these blocks and we can move on with our next step. All right, here are our four corner units. Let's just look at one up close. There's our center spun seam in there and look at how nicely those points look. So we can go ahead and set these aside. If you are worried if some of them got a little wonky, just make sure to square these up. These are gonna be squaring up at four and a half inches square. All right, let's move on to our next step. So we are going to take our F square and our C square, and we're going to start working on these star points right here. So we're going to place a C square right side down on top of an F square. I'm going to turn mine on the diagonal. We're going to draw a line from corner to corner on the wrong side. And I'm just using my friction erasable pin. This will come off with heat. It's also gonna be in our seam allowance, so it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna take this to the machine and we're gonna sew one quarter of an inch down either side or both sides of this line. Now I went ahead and did draw the line on this because my piece comes down past where I can see my tape. And I do want this to be pretty accurate. So I did go ahead and draw on this one. So here are our two C and F units. And now we can just trim them right on that drawn line. And for these, I'm just going to press toward the dark. You can press open if you like. So here are our finished half square triangles and these should finish at roughly five inches. If they're wonky, you can trim them down. I'm actually not gonna worry about it because we're gonna have a little bit of extra leeway on these blocks. So I'm just gonna leave them like this. Now, the next step we want is to have all of our blocks going the same exact way, which mine are. We've got the red on one side and the white on the other. We've got our E squares and we're going to take one E square and place it on our table. Now these star points all have to go the same exact way. So when you're sewing these, make sure you're sewing them all the identical same way. Because if you'll notice, our green is on top and it's going towards the left. If we just turn this block to the side, it's this block, turn it one more time, it's this block, and then turn it one more time and it's this block. So we just need to make sure that we're being really careful we're sewing everything the same way. So here's our E square and we're going to take our piece, our half square triangle, 
And per our pattern, we've got our background on the top and our print color on the bottom. And then we're gonna take our ruler and a friction erasable pen and we are going to draw a line from the corner to corner. So from your top left corner to your bottom right corner, making sure you're going across both fabrics. If you sew this way, you're obviously not doing anything. All right, now when we turn this fabric down, we've got our red on the right and our print on the left. So when we're done making our star, it's gonna look like this. But if we press it up, now we've got our red on the left bottom and our print on the top right. And if we look at this block, that's what we want. We want the main print on the bottom left side and then the secondary print over here on the right. So in order to do that, and so that I don't forget, I usually will place a pin on this side. This is the side I'm cutting or getting rid of. You could put a pin on the side you're keeping, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna sew along this line and know that I'm gonna cut off and discard this pinned side. So there's one, I'm gonna put that on my sewing machine, and now we just need to do that for all of the rest of them, making sure that we're following our instructions. I've got my white on the top left, drawing my line, and I'm putting my pin on the section we're getting rid of. Now we're ready to go and we're gonna sew just right on this line. Now before I cut, just to double check, I've got my red on the bottom left side, so we're good. Now we're gonna trim one quarter of an inch away from our stitch line. You can save this for a different project. You can even really quickly run a stitch right down here and you'll have another half square triangle. And by the way, if for some reason you trimmed off this side instead of this side, as long as you did it on all of your blocks, you'll be fine. Your star will look like it's spinning the opposite direction of mine, but no one will ever know. So don't beat yourself up or start over. Just make sure you're doing them all the same and you're good to go. Now we just need to take these over and press them and I am gonna press towards the dark because there are no seams on this side and that'll just make our block come together a little bit easier. All right, so here we have four of these units and they all are identical, so we are good to go. Now we're gonna trim these down and I gave you a little bit of extra space because sometimes sewing these can be wonky. So these are gonna get trimmed down to four and a half inches and I wanna show you how I trim them down. As you can see, I have a lot of extra. Here's my four and a half inch line right here. So what I do is I line up this four and a half inch point with this seam, this corner of my ruler with this seam and this four and a half inch point with this seam. So here's what it looks like. You can see that all of my points are matching up perfectly. So I can make those two cuts. Now I will spin my block and you'll know which way to spin it because this point will be perfect and these two will still need to be trimmed. And again, I'm lining up all of those points and this diagonal line with this diagonal seam. And now I can go ahead and make my other two cuts. And there you go, perfect sized blocks. So we're gonna repeat that with our remaining blocks. All right, here are our four finished units. And now we can go ahead and just turn them so that they're all having this dark red come together in the center. We're gonna grab our B center block and place that there. We'll sew those two units to that center block. And then now we can grab our corners that we created at the very beginning and put those in place. And again, this is another one of those blocks where you can turn your blocks around and just kind of have fun with them, have something different happening. This might not look good, but you never know until you give it a try. Not a fan, I'm gonna go with the way the pattern was written. 
and there we go. Now we can just sew our block together. We're gonna sew our top row together, our middle row, our bottom row, and then we'll sew those rows together. At this point, there are not really any seams that are gonna be overlapping too much. So I'm just going to bring this over to my machine, sew these all, and then we'll add these. For this block, I did. I am going to go ahead and just press these bottom and top rows to the outside, press this inner row to the inside, and then that way these corners will nest. So here is our finished block. I went ahead and just pressed these inner rows out towards the outside. I felt like that was the path of least resistance since we have some seams right here. We just need to trim it up. And then again, whenever you have star points, I like to make sure there's about a quarter of an inch of background fabric showing. And then even if it looks good, I'll just go ahead and run my rotary trimmer around it really quick and just clean it all up. And here we go. So that's gonna be it for today's video. If you're following along, make sure to share your progress using hashtag 2023 sew with me so that we can all see what you're making. I'm really enjoying seeing all of your fun color combos. And if you tag me on social media, um, at Erica Arndt on Instagram, I'll repost your blocks on my Instagram so others can see as well. And let me know in the comments below how you're doing with this sew along. What fabric choices did you use? Are you making the six and a half or 12 and a half inch blocks or maybe even both? That's gonna be it for today's video. Video. Thank you for joining me. We will see you next month for block number 11. This of course is my six and a half inch Christmassy version using fig tree. Why are you not focusing? So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're following along, make sure to share your... <laughs> and then here is our 12 and a half version that we're going to be... It's a lot of smiling people. Pin there if you want. We're going to press... Or <laughs> Oh, everybody's coming in. Jack's and Bandit. Hello. Everybody lay down, please, quietly. It's a party in the sewing room. Okay. Here comes Jack the Thari.